Today, you are going to be reacting to yourself. Get the f*** out of here. No way, dude. Oh no. This is going to be so embarrassing. I, I don't even like watch myself in the episodes because I'm embarrassed. I don't like watching myself on these things. <laughs> All I've thought about is, oh god, I hope they don't do me. <laughs> because I don't like my first episode at all. So you're gonna be reacting to yourself from the first Teens React episode you were in. Oh, shit, all right. I remember when I like found out about it, I was like, mom, no, it's so obvious. They just like tell them what to say. And I was like so against it. And then I walk in and I was like, oh, I really have to like make up my own opinions and talk right now. And I was just like, what have I gotten myself into? Part of me is really excited because that's one of my favorite things about being on here is I can look back at myself from six years ago and be like, wow, look at how much I've changed. But also I have to look back at myself from six years ago and be like, wow, look at what I used to be. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna show you a picture of yourself from what you looked like in that episode. Oh no, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> no way. Oh my God. Look at that, and that V-neck with the loose, oh, not a fan of that, Ethan. I don't know who that is. I'm so little. <laughs> I think I was like 16. That was like six years ago. It's embarrassing to know that this is like on the internet. Oh, I look like I'm like about to cry and I don't know why. When I look at this picture, it's not just me seeing my first episode of Teens React. It's me seeing that day and that memory and then kind of seeing my entire timeline of being here and how much has changed. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna show you some footage from your first episode. <laughs> Okay. So bad. <laughs> I still sound the same. <laughs> oh, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> I didn't have much to say. <laughs> oh no. So are you a fan of the Twilight Saga? Yes. Who isn't? I don't even really like them that much. I mean, I guess they're okay, but I didn't like read the books or anything, but I guess I was pumped, I don't know. What is the story of Twilight? Bella is a normal person and she falls in love with a vampire. She has to choose which one she loves, and then she chooses <laughs> Edward, and they get married, and now apparently they're having a vampire baby. It's just the part one, though. There's yeah. still an another part. Thank God. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I can't believe I was that into it. I'm like all explaining the plot all into it. Like, oh, well, thank goodness there's another one. It can't end now. And so are you team Edward, team Jacob, or team I don't care? I choose Jacob, <laughs> duh. <laughs> Jacob was like my, my binder. Like I had like a collage of like Taylor Lautner. I loved him. What about the fact that in Twilight, vampires sparkle? If it was Taylor Lautner sparkling, that'd be better. <laughs> See? <laughs> I loved him, but I mean, that wouldn't be a bad idea to make Taylor Lautner sparkle. I'm sure fans would have loved it. I mean, I would have loved it. Yeah, I remember those days, man. That was pre-Harry Styles days. I loved Taylor Lautner, but I've moved on from that. I've moved on. Why specifically do girls- <laughs> He's so love? little, oh my because gosh. I love story. All girls are mushy gushy over that kind of stuff. Did I really just say that? I'm like mortified. <laughs> I said mushy gushy. Yikes. Books or the movies? What's better? The books. I didn't even read the books. I think I read one of them. I was such a poser. This must have been filmed like right as I started to read the book and I'm like, yeah, books are great. I didn't even finish. And what do you think of the Bella character? I'm mad that she didn't choose um, Taylor Lautner. Why wouldn't she choose Taylor Lautner? <laughs> I didn't even call him Jacob. I don't even care about his character. I just care about the fact that it was Taylor Lautner. Oh, man. Young Maddie. Yikes. Do you remember how you first found out about him? I think, I think a bunch of kids, kids in my school, school were talking, talking about, about Jane Dawson. Dawson or... Yeah, it's pretty good. I don't want to say that I watch uh, the videos that I'm in a lot, but I watch the videos that I'm in a lot. What types of videos does she make? Dresses up as different personas and kind of faces common problems and then just kind of laughs at them. And now he does do-it-yourself galaxy slime videos, which are also fun. Who do you consider to be the most famous YouTuber? Fred, definitely. He's got <laughs> movies on Nick and stuff like that. You have no idea. <laughs> I wasn't a really, like, big YouTube watcher six years ago, 
And I, I didn't know what it was. I thought it was just like, I'll say some words and then maybe some people will listen to the words. What do you think of his hair? Oh, his hair is just fantastic. Still agree. I have curly Jewish hair. So also I still agree. I, I have the exact same personality and the exact same sense of humor and the exact same opinions on most things, but I was very unhappy when I was 14. I kind of like being able to see the development through the years of like unhappy, confused, not fitting in, and then growing up and like seeing myself kind of become who I am. Do you think that parents know that their young kids are watching Shane? I think that their parents do not know, and I'm guessing the kids don't fully understand what they're watching either. He wasn't that complex. I disagree with that opinion. I think kids can understand boob jokes. Do you know who that is? It's Aunt Hilda. See the resemblance? I like how quick the jump cuts are. It was just me saying two words. Would you want to hang out with Shane? Oh, definitely. What do you think you guys would do? Dress up as girls? Still want to do that. Shane Dawson, hit me up. Tweet me back. I love you. Do you consider him to be famous? Uh, yeah, he's like virally famous, I think. Yeah, virally famous. It sounds like a bad disease, but I'd still count it. That first day, I thought I was never going to do this again because I thought I did horrible. We were in a bedroom in an apartment that was like the size of from this desk to that wall. And it was just Benny and Rafi with a camera and like one of them was on the bed instead of a chair cause they didn't have room for one holding the camera. Probably around like the six month mark is like, I came back for like the third time and I was like, oh, this is cool. I hope I keep doing this. And I remember thinking like, wow, what's it gonna be like if I turn 20 and I like have to leave the company and like, hey, still here. I don't trust this creative for my future wife. No, you don't. <laughs> no! <laughs> Look at that smile off your face. I was nervous. I wasn't as, you know, quick-minded. I, you know, this is just a very different me. Ugh. I still did that tongue thing, though. I still got that. I came on as a fan. I totally underestimated, like, how much pressure I was put on while doing it because it's like, it's reactions. It's like, it's first come, first thought, first serve. And I remember just sitting there being blank the entire time I was just so nervous. Do you like weddings? Who oh. doesn't like a wedding? I don't. <laughs> That's not me anymore. That's what I'm saying. Like this kid doesn't even know. He hasn't even touched the surface of what has happened. Do you want to get married one day? Absolutely. No, you don't. No, oh my God. No, bro. That's probably like the biggest thing that's changed about me is that relationships, for me at least, are poison. You won't see me with a girlfriend for like another six years. Do you think you'll do something like this at your wedding? Maybe not as big, but definitely as special. No! Oh my god, look at that little cupcake, bro. That cupcake, that's what it is. It's a cupcake. Oh my god, oh my god. This is in, no. No. What age do you think you want to get married? I feel like the most reasonable age would be like mid 20s. That's not even me anymore. That's not even me anymore. Oh my God. I can't believe that was me. That's like how in shock I am. I'm just in complete shock. I'm in complete shock. I'm in awe. So how does it feel for you watching yourself, you know, on Teens React and now being an adult and knowing that you can continue to be watching yourself on this show for years and years? I mean, it's pretty cool. It's like cool to think, oh, what did I think about this when I was 16 and watch it and just like look back on my reactions and laugh at myself. I think it's pretty fun. And it's crazy to see how much like, like, I don't know, just I've changed. It honestly seems like yesterday that I was like doing that and now looking at it, I'm like, I was so little. It's so weird. I'm sitting here right now looking back on this six years ago and going, wow, that's crazy, so much has changed. These are still gonna be here like 40 years from now. And I can look back at this video and be like, wow, there, there were so many things that have happened since then and I still looked stupid back then. Why didn't I get a haircut? Do better, 20 year old Eric. Yeah, I think it helps keep you open-minded to realize that you don't agree with most of your opinions as you age because you're always learning and always growing. It shaped the person that I've become through the people that I've met and everything that's happened, I, I am a better person for it. And 
I am just so grateful to get the experience to be here. The most important thing for someone to know is like where they came from and like who and how they evolved as a person. So for me, it's like, I know I'm like joking around a lot, but there's like, I look back at that and I just think like, really, I'm like, wow. Compared to who I was like a year before that, then and like ever since, like I've been growing and I'm really proud of, you know, who I've become as a person. I owe everything to this. I owe, I literally owe everything to this from like the people I've met who work for Benny and Rafi to the people who I've co-reacted with. I just think like this is like the most beautiful family that I've been a part of besides my own. <laughs>